Hey everyone, David from Oliver here, and today I'm going to be showing you Oliver POS. So the first thing to understand about Oliver POS is that it is a WooCommerce first point of sale system, meaning that if you've already set up your WooCommerce store, you've done the heavy lifting as far as Oliver POS is concerned. With the two-way sync with customers, orders, and stock, you can get up and running in minutes. The second fundamental thing to understand about Oliver POS is that it can be run on any internet enabled device. You can run it in the browser as I'm doing right now, or in app. We have an iOS and Android app available. So with that said, let's see the register in action. So as you can see here, I have my tiles set up and the tiles that you see in front of you can be any product tag, category, attribute, or simple or variable product that I have set up in WooCommerce. Not everything needs to be a, a tile though. So I can look up products by SKU or by product name or by barcode with the advanced search option. I can do the same for customers. So another important thing to mention within the tiles is that sub categories and sub attributes uh, are supported. And if I go to a variable product, you can see that uh, for those products where I have stock managed separately per variation, that obviously shows up in Oliver POS. And I can adjust the inventory straight from here. You also might have spotted that the upsells that I've set up in WooCommerce are automatically being shown here. And I can add notes uh, per product, as you'll soon see for every customer, as well as for the entire order as well. And then I can add discounts and I can do the same um, as I said, order notes, as well as uh, discounts and fees for the entire order as well. And I have some preset discounts, which I can apply, uh, which were set up in Oliver Hub. Before I check out here, let's go to the customers tab and let's expand the sidebar here so I can show you the four different tabs uh, that are available in the Oliver register and also point out that um, each tab has its own keyboard shortcut. So let's go to the customers tab. As you can see here, I can look up any customer. Uh, these are customers that are purchasing with me uh, through my WooCommerce store, as well as through Oliver POS. So I can create a new customer directly through uh, the register right here. And for every customer, I can see the lifetime value, I can see the order count, as well as store credit, which I would manage here. Let's add this customer to the sale and let's proceed to the checkout screen. So here you can see I can uh, let the customer pay in installments with different payment types per installment. I have some quick split options. And because I have a customer in the cart, I have the layaway payment option as well as store credit available. Uh, layaways work the exact same way as park sales, except they have a customer tied to them. And the way that both of these options work is that the order is placed now and the payment is collected later. For my payment types, uh, I have cash and the amount that is tendered by the customer, um, i.e. given to me, uh, will then prompt Oliver POS to calculate the change due. Uh, this will also be a function of the cash rounding rules that I have set up in Oliver Hub. Uh, the card option is for standalone terminals where I'm manually entering the transaction total. And then uh, with Oliver Pay, uh, this is an integrated payment option. It is the official payment solution that Oliver offers. It's for omni-channel payments, so for both in-store and online. Um, and the great thing about Oliver Pay and the other integrated payment options that we have available is that uh, the transaction total is automatically sent from Oliver POS to your terminal. So with that said, let's just go with the card option. At this point, uh, the receipt would be generated uh, I could print that receipt, I can email it to the customer, and I have full control over what the receipt looks like um, in the Oliver Hub. Let's hit new sale, and let's now go to the transactions tab. So the transaction that I just made is being reflected here. I can see the full breakdown of the order uh, right here, and I can see the receipt for the associated order as well as um, uh, refund sale option. And with an integrated payment option, this would um, save you the hassle of, of having to go to your payment dashboard and refunding from there. 
you can see on uh, the left that I have uh, different ways to search for an order, either by the order ID or by the attached customer, uh, or uh, ways to filter uh, different orders by status, date range, uh, sales channel. So important thing to mention is that um, I can filter by uh, transactions made through Oliver POS or through my WooCommerce store. I can filter by employee uh, as well as by price range. Lastly, I have my cash management tab where I can add or remove cash from the cash drawer and for every uh, session. So from register open to close, I can see every tra cash transaction that took place. I can print an end of day report. So this would be per session, how many cash transactions took place. And I, and I can also print a cash ledger report. So this would be an aggregation of all the end of day reports. And with that said, we're wrapping up here. Uh, the last things to show you are uh, really um, the account screen here. So the pin that I logged in with is tied to this staff profile. I, I can change the language here. I can access the knowledge base and I can switch to a different staff profile or end the session uh, through this screen here. And that about wraps it up for this tour of the Oliver Register. Uh, you'll notice that I mentioned the Oliver Hub a few times. This is where you're doing your configuration uh, and where you're accessing your reports. And that's something that I'll be showing next time. Thanks for watching. Take care.